I told you guys we had a guest, and we have one of my friends on the show today, and I'm not talking about Brent. You already heard from Brent. I'm talking about Alicia <laughs> Way. You see him on hey. the screen right here. Well, hey, what's man. What's up, y'all? <laughs> thank you so very much for taking the time to hang out with us today. This is the thank Ecamm Behind the Stream setup. Like, did I get that yes. right, Brent? Is, did, am I saying it right? <laughs> that is right. It's Behind the Stream powered by Ecamm. And so what we're hey. going to do in this segment is look at Ecamm creators, streamers, and see what they've started with, what, you know, what is the minimum they started with, and how they have grown over the past one, two, three, four, five months. And kind of let you out there watching see how easy it is to start, but how much you can grow. There you yeah. go. There you go. So, Alicio, uh, if you know him, you know he has tons of equipment now. So, we're going to actually start <laughs> with, Alicio, can you show us, like, what you started with with Ecamm? Yeah. Well, um, with Ecamm? Well, no, not with Ecamm. Yeah. When you started okay. doing yeah. video. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, when I started streaming, live streaming in 2017, I kind of wish I did have that setup, um, but I don't really have anything uh, still from that setup. Um, I was actually using um, some uh, dollar store poster boards, the green poster boards. I would use these dollar store poster boards, and I would stick them behind me for a green screen. Right. Um, and uh, I would actually just do green screen through OBS. Um, but now I'm going, since I have a better camera, better system, I just kind of go with a natural setup. But the camera that I was using, I still have that camera, and it is this little guy right here. Hey, it is there the Logitech go. C920. And to be honest with you, uh, I got this camera 2012, 2013. I bought it for, at that time, it was about $75. And, um, man, I actually really liked this camera for what it was worth back in the day for Zoom calls and stuff like that. And then when I got into live streaming, it, it was actually, believe it or not, in 2017, you know, pre-Rona, of course, it right. was still one of the higher quality cameras that you could ask for. So, I mean, now pretty is good it a autofocus. 1080p? Go ahead. Is it 1080p? Yep, it's 1080p. Uh, there you HD. Go. Yeah, um, uh, autofocus and whatnot. Um, but now, you know, I'm using this guy right here so yeah any questions go ahead yeah yeah tell tell us um <laughs> what's it start with let's start with you know we're part of the sn7b boy club yeah. but let's start yeah. with the audio setup that you have yeah okay so audio setup right now um let's go to this uh, scene right here so i have two things i have the focus right this is the trusty y'all can see that right yes we can right. we got it okay yeah so this is pretty much like what I've been using since 2015, 2016, 2017 is the Focusrite. Real trusty, real trusty machine, man. Like it's, it's plug and play. You know what I'm saying? I would, I still recommend this for most streamers. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's absolutely plug and play. You right. can't go wrong. Um, but now I have upgraded to this joint. And uh, this is the, uh, let me actually go to this camera. I have, this is my first time doing this, but uh, I have this joint, which is the Rodecaster Pro. We're not going to talk bad about it right now, but <laughs> it's a six hundred dollar device, and it's pretty good. You can do, you know, like, um, you know, all of your like sound effects. Can y'all hear that? Yeah, we got it. That yeah. sounds good. Yeah, yeah cool. And uh, you know, if you didn't know, I got a show called Creators on the Come Up. Yep. So that's Creators on the Come Up. Love all that. Your triggers and that's all awesome. of your sound effects. Yeah, all your sound effects and stuff in there. So my, my setup is an absolute mess right now. But so just to answer your question about audio, this is what I use now. Um, but uh, I still use my Scarlett uh, for music because I still record music. And I just, for some reason, I just feel more safe just recording with my Focusrite. Um, and I just feel like it's more trusty to do like vocals and like instruments, guitar, keyboards. I still gotcha. run everything through my Focusrite. That's what's up. So tell us about the camera that you're using now. Yeah. So the camera that I'm using right now is uh, it's called a uh, Canon M50. This is it right here. Can you see it? I can. We can. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yep, it's the Canon M50. Uh, this one is actually the Mark II, but um, this is my first time actually using the Mark II in my live setup. I usually just use the regular. Uh, hold on. I, I usually use the regular M50 just because I'm used to it. But right. yeah, so I love I love it because as you can see right here on my face, you can see that little. Well, you can't see it with this, but it has eye it has it has eye detection autofocus. 
you can't really see it this um but it's a little square that's literally following my eye around got you on the camera it literally follows my eye around so it's like very good eye detection autofocus um, this is a sigma 16 millimeter lens nice um, yeah so it's a sigma 16 i didn't used to use the hood but i started using the hood because it keeps a lot of the different little glares and artifacts out of the screen when you're live streaming so i didn't realize that till i tried it one time and i was like oh my camera actually looks better <laughs> with this hood on so yeah so that is the camera i use i use a canon m50 and i have three of them i have one right there if you can see that don't laugh Got at you. my wife's side of the office please <laughs> no we, we we see the camera there yeah and that's the I white one by yoda right <laughs> yep that's another one All so right. i have i have three or you know, i have four canon m50s that you can get just so you know the reason i even go with the canon m50 just so our our um our ecamm fam will kind of know the the relevance of why I go all in with the M50s is because with the M50s it is plug and play with ecam so you don't have to worry about a capture card you don't have to worry about software you don't all you literally do is get a USB um con, uh, like cold cable it has to be a data USB cable not like a charging cable and you right. you'll kind of know because the data cables are thicker they're like thicker and sturdier literally once you plug in your USB cable from the camera to the to your computer then ecamm recognizes it right away you don't need any type of uh capture card so when i found that out i immediately went started pricing the m50s and you can get the first m50 now the first one that came out in 2017 i, I the reason i got four of them because i keep seeing them on the marketplace for 350 400 dollars wow. <laughs> you know what i'm saying they're so cheap i just like i buy them because like i can resell it for five or six hundred right because they're that good so yeah i got like three or four of them now so yeah and how much sorry, I didn't mean to go lens. off on it. I didn't mean to go no, off on it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think the lens also is an extra cost, correct? Like maybe two, yeah, three hundred so bucks. Let's, let's, be, let's be completely transparent. The lens, in the most case, costs more than my camera. Right, like the right, new, right. The M50 Mark II is still pretty like 600 bucks, but you can get on the marketplace, you can get your M50s now for 350 to 400 because the new ones came out, so they're selling the old ones for cheaper. Um, but these lenses are three ninety nine. You make it find it for three fifty. So in most cases, the lens you are absolutely correct. Brand is actually cost more than the camera itself. Yes. And yeah, so you're looking at seventy five dollars to start out with the C ninety, and then up, you know bumping up to the M fifty and the lens. And the reason he's using that lens is so he can get a wide angle and keep it at that distance. If not, you're yeah. you know you're putting it across the room on a tripod. So you want to get that close to you. Um, you know, and so that's what's uh, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars maybe to get in that setup. And I've been well, pricing no, for. I, I actually missed a step too. I mean, I forgot. Okay. Th my second camera was Top this down. one right here. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. That was my okay. second camera, and that that's one fifty. That's a one hundred and fifty dollar camera on Amazon. It is I gotcha. a Canon. Yeah, Canon HFR eight hundred. And uh, this camera, man, it looks actually, to be completely honest with you, I'm going to go to it right now. This camera actually looks really good. It's a really good upgrade. Is it a from, from like that. video camera or a, it, is it's it an actual a camcorder. video camera? Camcorder. It's a camcorder. There camcorder. you go. Yeah. 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 So, so that's one uh, thing I want people, what I want people to understand is that you can go from, so you've seen he spent 75 then he wanted to get a little better, so he got the $150, and then he moved up to yep. the $800 setup. But all of those become extra inputs and extra cameras that you have. So it's not a waste of money. You're just nope. adding to it and that's getting great, more shots. You know, That's a great way to look at it, Brent. Great way to yeah. look at it. We, we've missed one piece that I think is also important for people to know because, yes. uh, you know, once we know talk about say. the audio, you got yep. your camera, you have your lens. The next important thing, is, of course, is your lights. Like, I know yes. it's important for us to light. Uh, our face is the yeah. right way to get the right color on the cameras. What does your lighting setup look like? Yeah, man, I really wish my world wireless go would work right now. I think I must just be doing something wrong. But if it did, I would actually walk you around the studio and just show you. But so let's look at it from just my desktop and I'll show you from my Logitech C920. So I have my key light, which is this light right here. Sorry if I'm blasting you. It's a, um, a newer, newer light. It was uh -huh. about... Seventy-five dollars. It has barn doors. I like the barn doors because do it like keeps the, barn, the light from barn doors. Mm -hmm. yeah, it keeps the light from spilling over into my background. As you see, my background there. 
Um, and the reason why I want to keep that from spilling over to the background so my LEDs could pop more, and we'll get into that later. Then I just have a feel like it's another newer light, but it doesn't have any barn doors. It's just a feel light, right, to light uh, my uh, left side of my face. So if I was to uh, turn my feel light off, I'll show you how that looks real quick. You see how that kind of, some people like that moody mm -hmm. look. Some people like that moody, dramatic look. I don't. Got you. So no no rim wrap for you, right? <laughs> so I keep that kind of plugged in. Uh, so now, uh, now that's just my front lighting. Now I do have some practical lighting in the back, as you see here. I have just a uh, what is it? A like a what is this called? Like a hue uh, lamp or something? Or? It's not a hue lamp, but it's like a vintage. Yeah, it's like a vintage <laughs> lamp. Um, oh yeah, I have Edison a, bulb. Yeah, like an Edison bulb. I have another there one right go. there, and I have another one right above my head, out of the frame. Then I have a little candle flicker light that I keep right by baby um, baby uh, Yoda. Um, and then, yeah, other than that, I have these joints. I'll show you real quick. I'm proud of these joints because they're cheap and they're effective. So I like being cheap and effective. <laughs> Let's go here. And, uh, yeah, I've never showed nobody this, so don't laugh. So on the back of these chairs, I have these um, – these, oh, you can actually see it. Cool. So they're $20 on Amazon, right? Um, uh, well, sorry. Well, these no, are no, like little. Cool. All right, cool. So, yeah, 15. Yeah. I, go ahead, Brent. You are going to say something? No, no, I see it. We can see the 15 watt IP66. And I think, looking, I'm looking I behind me, this. I think I have the same ones. That's what I, I know yeah, I have them as well. I have some I as posted, well. I posted them in the group not too long ago. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, these are 20 bucks. And grab a couple of them. So I actually have one right there hanging on the back of the chair, and I have another one hanging on the back of, sorry, I'm making y'all dizzy, sorry. Um, I have another one hanging on the back of my chair right here. The reason I have them hanging on the back of my chairs is because when I used to have them on the floor, they would cast a shadow, um, and you couldn't see the color. All you would see is a shadow. So I came up with this thing of just hanging them on the back of chairs or hanging them on like a table so um, it doesn't cast a shadow up. It just you can see the Good color. Eye. I'm having like that trouble that. with my set, so I can, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that after we get off. I'll set mine on yeah. my chair. Yeah, yeah, just awesome. hang it on something so you can, it can have a straight shot to the wall and doesn't catch any like thing on the ground and cast a shadow up. So, but that's the oh, and I do have a a, a, a huge strip right here in the corner. Um, mm -hmm. To be honest with you, I, a lot of my lighting setup I stole from um, Marshall Fox. I seen his lighting setup. Yeah, and I he's said, got Let great me just, lighting. Yeah, I said, let me just mimic mimic his lighting as best I can, even though I have a totally different space than he has. So anyone watching, that's another thing I know that Strick and Brent always tells you. You can only light your space, uh, your own space uh, to your space because you can't copy right. other people's lighting if you don't have the, you know, it's not going to always, it's not going to look right, right? Right. So, you have to dial your lighting in based off your space. So that's my lighting setup. So I would say, honestly, I know what this show is about. So I can... I mean, $75, another $30, that's 100 for my key lighting, right, my front lighting, $25 a piece for these floodlights, that's another 50 And, uh, yes, I mean, the practical lights were 10 or $12. I mean, so under definitely under $150, $175 is my complete lighting setup. Oh, and I forgot my – I have some uh, – I have these. But we, we don't have to get into these because I don't necessarily think that this is about my lighting. This is just for, like, the set. But it, this the doesn't set light design, me up. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't light me up or anything. So we well, one thing I love that. that you're doing is I do the same thing, and I and I've worked in, like I said, production for many years, and I know, you know, I have always been at that point where Kino, I have a six foot Kino flow here that was super super expensive when I was a, you know, I did production for a living, but, yeah. and you know, some of the Kino flows and all these other pro lights are so expensive. Yeah. The newer products are like in my sweet spot. The, I have yes. the same one you have with the barn doors <laughs> because I think barn doors are a necessity. It's actually yes. battery powered. I could use it on a field shoot if I wanted to. Yes. And they are amazing. I mean, they're really, really good. So, really yes, good. you know, you can go spend, what, $150 a piece for an Elgato key lights that connect with your stream decks and stuff. But when you're starting out, you just... You know, once you, you know, you can't just buy one, you got to have four or five lights. And so exactly. And from newer products, newer stands, I'm using newer stands to hold up my cameras, newer tripods. Yeah. Yeah. They are at that sweet spot of semi pro, but at a consumer price point, I think. Exactly. Prosumer, yeah. as they say. Free, so. Wow. Well, that's what's up. 
Yeah, that is man. definitely what's up. Well, Alicio, uh, man, we really appreciate you taking the time to come on to the stream show with the stream guys and talk about Thank your you for setup. Me. Man, yeah. uh, you know, we're, we're family, we're brothers, and uh, man, much success to you. Can you give us really, really quick uh, the name of your show and times when people can contact you yeah. or see your show? Absolutely. Yeah. Creators on the Come Up. It comes on every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it is sponsored by Ecamm. So shout out to the Ecamm fam. And thank you again, bros, for having me on the show. It's my first time on the stream show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's all right.